Hey hey, kia ora whanau, you're here with me, the Māori Wargamer, and today we'll be playing The Walking Dead All Out War Battle Report. Sure. Give it up, Rick. You're cornered. We killed your old man, we killed your boy, we killed everybody, and we destroyed your little prison. You think you're one? You're mistaken. I'm Rick Grimes. You say there's nowhere to run? Well, I can run back in time. Well, that's a darn interesting old predicament right there. I wonder where he's gone. Maybe we'll see him again. I'm the governor. Let's destroy the rest of the world. My name is Rick Grimes. I used to be a sheriff of a small town, but now I'm a time patroller from a special dimension and I'm traveling back before it all began, before the world turned dark, before the rise of the governor. I've assembled a crack strike team of the best fighters in history, which happened to be me. Here we have Rick Grant. Before the fall, expert police officer and marksman from another dimension. We have Rick Grimes, the brawler, the horse rider, the elite, super, uh, super speedy cavalry Rick Grimes. Then, the most dangerous Rick of all, the Rick Zombie, the Rick, wa the Walker Rick. He can blend in with the other walkers, go behind the enemy lines where no man has gone before. He will help us save the future. Together, we are Strike Force Rick. And we will save the world and defeat the governor. Follow me as I do the impossible. Follow me as I change history. Kia ora whanau and welcome to um, this 250 point uh, Walking Dead All Out War Battle Report. Uh, Strike Force Rick. Hope you enjoyed that little opening cinematic there, set the scene. Um, so here we are in, in uh, on the arts, on the city outskirts of some unknown city. Um, we've got uh, Rick here, time tra uh, a time patrol officer. He's travelled back in time. He's collected uh, an army of Ricks from different dimensions. We've got Rick Ryder, Rick Officer, and uh, Rick Zombie. Walker Zombie Rick, um, and and our very own Rick disfigured. This is him from a from a horrible dark future that is returned to save. Um, so a simple mission here: two fifty points battle. We've got seventeen zombies on the field. We've got ten supply tokens all over here on the city outskirts. Um, but they're not. We're not after them at all. The simple goal for this mission is to kill the governor. We've traveled back in time not to kill Hitler. Someone else can do that. We're gonna take out even worse than Hitler. In the in the future where he's he's risen, he's killed thousands, millions of people. Uh, the governor and Rick's come back in time to avoid that future. He's uh, not as powerful as he was, but he's got a nice little following with him. So it's not gonna be easy. But strike for uh, strike force Rick should be able to uh, prove its match and uh, and complete this special assassination mission that they've gathered for. Um, so we'll uh, we'll see how things go down on the city outskirts. Plenty of supply tokens to scavenge and hopefully pick up additional supplies, depending on how things go. But as soon as we kill the governor, it is game over. Depending on. You know, we've got events and we've got everything else playing, but Governor is the goal. So one of us Ricks need to kill him. We've got a special zombie Rick here as well. So he's going to be, um, have just a basic zombie stat. So if he, if he gets uh, knocked out, he's dead. Unless it, uh, he needs a headshot to kill him permanently, he automatically returns. He doesn't need a roll to see if he returns. And um, he can make a walk and a noise action to call up, up a zombie uh, to him and then they'll walk together as a herd for future actions. Um, and the yeah, other rules that are not yet decided on. But exciting battle, 250 points, all uh, well equipped. We'll go take a quick look at the armies that we'll be playing with today. 
the two different groups, the Governor's Group and uh, Rick, Strike Force Rick. And then uh, we'll go into turn one activation phase with Strike Force Rick kicking that off. All right, but, so um, we've got Rick's group, the Strike Force Rick, all locked and loaded here, plus Rick Zombie. Um, so first is up, we've got Rick, dis disfigured but determined. He's got some great stats there on his card. Let's take a look at that. Um, a melee monster. I've given him a leather jacket and an 8mm pistol um, to improve his uh, shooting capabilities. Add to that blue dice that he gets naturally. Over on the left, we've got Officer Atlanta Camp Leader Rick. Um, he's got a blue shooting dice as well. Uh, keeps things calm. I've equipped him with a bandolier um, so they can reload any ranged weapon there. Because um, that's, that's, that sucks when you get those headshots and they fail because of that. It's also got an M16 assault rifle, some high powered, high range uh, shooting across the field. And over here, Rick Ryder, Officer Rick Grimes, melee oriented Rick, this one on the horse. It gives him the speed and, uh, and traversability. Plus, he's got a hat trip. And then, topping it off, uh, Zombie Rick. Um, he is from the 2018. Um, like special pack that came with Dale and Scott Moon, um, so another very rare model. But hey, I get all the uh, all the good quality stuff for you guys to watch. Um, we'll go over and take a look at the Governor's group of uh, of minions that he's assembled, and then we've got uh, the Governor's group, his dastardly group of villains. Before the rise of the Governor, he's not quite the Governor just yet. He's, he's uh, a, a band, uh, assembled a little band of fo of followers. Um, but he's not yet the ruthless monster that he will be in the grim dark future of the 41st millennium. We've got uh, first here, Tom, um, bold head. Um, he's got some, he's a bruiser. He's equipped with a compound bow. Um, it's going to give him some uh, silent uh, shooting. Uh, so we've got two red dice for him. We've got Scott Moon. Uh, he's got a football helmet and some bandages. He's got he's another special uh, collector's model. Um, I bring nothing but the best to the table there. Scott Moon looks a bit like Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Uh, next one at the back there, we've got Patrick, hardened veteran, um, a bruiser. Again, he's equipped with a gun for some reason, a, a hunting rifle. Uh, but you know we won't question those uh, inept decisions. We have our man Curtis, the brother, the brother from another mother. He's got a crowbar equipped, um, very simple. Um, he's a runner, so he's just going to be scouting around and, and grabbing supplies. Then the man himself, Brian Blake, this is before Woodbury. He's just got a um, makeshift, makeshift padding equipped and a 9mm pistol. So that's our, uh, our humble team, 250 points, well spent those, uh, those dollars. And uh, we'll go straight into uh, turn one. I believe the Ricks are kicking us off for turn one. All right, fine. So end off the activation phase for turn one. And now the Strike strike Force Rick um, Battle Report. Disfigured Rick and uh, Rick Ryder moving into Reinforce Rick Officer uh, as he unleashed the volley of shots with his uh, M16 assault rifle uh, over into the Governor. So he, he managed to land three wounds on him. Uh, Governor's only got uh, three more wounds left. I ended up summoning a volley of, of, of zombies. Um, the, the ranged weapons come into play and um, Rick Zombie, Rick Walker, managed to take a, take, a whip, uh, take a hit and he's knocked over. So he's lost control of his, uh, of his zombie herd that he was growing. Um, but he'll be back next turn to hopefully to uh, to bring order to them and bring the herd down to the governor. Uh, so we've got a massive combat about to throw down here. And we've got uh, Scott Moon, Mr. Scott Moon racing over here. Uh, Curtis hopped over. We've got a police officer and a, uh, a man of color. Um, going down, it's uh, historical, uh, certainly. And uh, my, my best, my best, my prayers um, going towards uh, Curtis, he's just uh, you know he's just another brother uh, with a weapon, uh, looking to do some work. And then uh, we've got a combat about to throw down here with um, Patrick. 
So that's uh, that's the state of our battlefield here on uh, Battle Zone Cityscape as we uh, lead Strike Force Rick into combat. We're going into the event phase on turn one. All right, fine. So Pandemonium event phase on turn one. Um, my player read. Um, my opponent redirected a zombie towards me here in this group. I managed to roll three and uh, led three zombies that we're about to throw down here uh, over towards Curtis. So now Curtis is going to throw down with four zombies. That's um, 10 red dice if, if memory serves correctly. Um, so he's going to get slaughtered in that. And we managed to decrease the amount of zombies in here. One, two, three. It used to be six, now there's only three. Uh, a lot more manageable, three on three. It's going to be a good fight. Um, also managed to call in a zombie over behind the governor there. So he's not as well protected as he likes. Um, so it's about to go down on threat level seven uh, as we go into the melee phase. All right, fine, so end phase um, on turn one, strike force Rick um, had to pull together with their defense die rolls to survive against that on onslaught of zombies there, six reds. Um, but they pulled through with no injuries. Um, Rick Walker's back up and he's got a herd of two zombies so far, uh, ready to navigate those across the board um, very strategically. Um, Curtis there didn't quite survive uh, the onslaught of 10, uh, 10 attacking dice from four zombies and uh, he succumbed to the, the curse of the walking dead. Um, and even over here, Patrick, uh, he had a rough time, he got bitten. Um, he managed to survive his infection check, so he's still got one HP left, um, but he's on the verge of, of death, of, of, of actually turning. So that guy better get some distance between him and Patrick because it's going to go down. And then we've got our Mr. Governor, um, the cause of it all, the ultimate evil, the baddest villain uh, in the lands. Who strike force Rick have been sent from time and space to uh, to dispatch. So we'll we'll, uh, we'll see how they do as the, as the battle continues. As we go into turn two activate uh, turn two activation phase. Initiative passing over to my opponent. Turn in front. All right, final end of activation phase for uh, turn two, and the strike force Rick battle report. Um, Rick disfigured but determined has moved snuck forward there. Um, over on this bat side of the battlefield, the governor has, uh, is moving to escape the cowardice. The fear in him is uh, palpable. Um, his, uh, his man here, uh, Scott Moon, managed to scavenge out some bandages from the back of the, uh, of the ute here. And uh, he's, he's walking over, going to hook up um, the governor with that to recover from his wounds that he took from... Uh, the officer Rick with the big with the gun, um, so he's running to the furthest corner of the map away. Um, well that's not gone unnoticed by Officer Rick, and he's uh, moving opposite, mirroring uh, the actions of the governor here, ready to line up a beautiful shot and take out take him out from across the field, um, and he's drawn himself into some combats. Got over here, Rick Walker. Created a herd, a three-man herd so far, and he's walking, uh, shambling towards uh, the governor. Only a car stands in his way as he leads his zombies over to them. Um, and then we've got uh, Rick Ryder, Rick and Dicker Licker, uh, racing over here on, galloping across with his horse, traversing the uh, low barriers, and um, he's going to attack on the flank. So, got a pretty good uh, plan of attack here. Rick Speed is going to race around there, race around wham. We've got Rick uh, there, braving the zombie herds in the middle uh, as he's able to do so unaffected and uh, bringing an army of zombies over to that corner. Like, yeah, pretty much you're not walking through here. Yeah, you're not walking through the middle. You'll have to hop over the cars if you're a runner. You can do that. Um, otherwise, your only way is, is through the flanks, uh, which is what he's taking advantage of and what he's about to take advantage of. 
Um, failed shots gone off, Mayhem currently on nine. And uh, Patrick finds himself surrounded again. This guy running to reinforce. So pretty much all action going on here on the battlefield. Probably going to be a quick game. Underestimated what 250 points of equipment could do. Um, so we're going to go into the event phase on turn two. See what's going to happen. Turn two event phase. We've got the Roma's card. Currently threat level nine. Um, my opponent rolled a three. And managed to pull three, three walkers into battle with Rick over here. Um, disfigured but determined. Um, so we've got a showdown in the works. Um, I ended up rolling one and I pulled my zombie over here uh, into contact with uh, Amelia with the governor. Hopefully he can land a bite on and uh, begin the infection. We're going to go into melee phase. All right, final so end of the turn for turn two. Uh, end phase turn two. Um, all combat successful for Strike Force Rick. Um, Rick took on three and only suffered one point of damage there, so he's got plenty of life to kick. Plus, he's still got the leather jacket on, so if he ever gets super mobbed, um, that is going to be no worries for him. Um, Rick Ryder executed his zombie with a hat trick to the head, uh, wiped out his brain over here. That's what's become of Paul Patrick, mobbed and uh, feasted on by the zombies. Um, man, it's going to be a quick and. The governor uh, ended up losing in his melee that I took a risk, it paid off, and uh, he ended up suffering a bite from uh, the zombie, so mm. he managed to survive. Okay, wait a minute, we, we, we seen some equipment on the governor that we didn't didn't check, hold up. Okay, nothing to worry about there, Fano, um, he had the makeshift padding on, but he didn't use it, um, but he, he failed the roll, so there's, there he is, bitten, one health remaining. He managed to survive thanks to his tenacity. Um, and even though he's supposed to die, he kept going. Um, and so that's our, that's our battlefield. Strike Force Rick, turn two. We're going into turn three now. I've got the initiative. Zombie Herd coming. I don't think it's going to last much longer. But we'll kick it off. Stay tuned. So everything turning to mud for the governor. Uh, Scott Moon, his uh, right hand man, uh, with the bandages ready to give him. Um, heal up those wounds that he's taken so far. However, um, the threat level's medium, panic all around, people dying, his two mates have su uh, succumbed to zombies so far, and Scott Moon is, is not a brave man. He's got a low low nerve. Uh, and so seeing these, these shocking turns of events, he's got the bandages, governor's ready for him to hand over those bad bandages, um, but Scott Moon is gonna do a runner. He's rolled the dice, He's rolled the legs, legs for running, and that's what he's got. Scott Moon. Oh! We're <laughs> ready! <laughs> Looks like Scooby Doo, eh? And then he's running. Zoinks! Jinkies! Boom, he's running. Sprinted right away from the governor. Governor's like, get. Hey, uh, get back there, boy. Get back here, boy. I need those bandages, boy. Come see me, boy. The zombies all around me, boy. And he's like, later, boy. <laughs> later, boy. R Raggy. Um, and his running's going to cause the zombie to walk into him. Okay. So good work, mate. You've got uh, good log zombies on the on the roll. Um, exciting. Very exciting. All right, fine. So, um... The objective has been accomplished. Rick, uh, Officer Rick here, fires his uh, M16 assault rifle. And the Ricks celebrate all across the field as um, that fateful shot. Uh, to be honest though, he, he, the governor wouldn't have survived. He was going to suffer another infected bite. Um, and more rumbles over here. Zombie Rick was bringing over a full herd. And uh, Officer Rick over here was ready to ride into uh, the rescue. Um, so what was that? Turn three. Turn three. I think it was just turn three activation phase. Um, a quick game there, Farno. Quick game is a good game though. That's what they say. 
Um, the Fast and the Furious, as, as, a, as I've heard uh, mentioned once before, The Fate of the Furious, Fast Five, um, Fast and Furious Seven, The Fantastic Furious, that's the next one. Um, little, quick little summary, eh? Um, yeah, quick game, like, it's, I guess maybe probably for 250 points I should have connected my second map. Because the range of those weapons, you don't even need to move. You could just shoot from one side uh, to the other. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a quick game. Not a lot really happened. Uh, Melee here just went to an absolute mess with all these zombies gathering up. Um, I'll do a better summary. Hold up. It's over. It's finished. The governor's reign of terror will never come to pass. Thanks to the efforts of Strike Force Rick. What do we do now? Well, there are many threats that affect the universe, and our special skills will still be needed, I'm sure. There are plenty of enemies around, like uh, Negan with the spiked bat, and he might end up whacking Glenn with it. So we've got other crimes of the future to prevent. So Strike Force Rick, wherever there is injustice in the timelines, we will be there to to uh, to avert those great tragedies. Strike Force Rick, over and out. All right, Father. So that is the end of uh, the Strike Force Rick 250 power, uh, point battle report. Um, just a little muck around battle there. I wanted to, you know, as I picked up all these different Rick models, I thought. Hey, that would be pretty fun. There's another Rick model to grab as well. The um, prison prison Rick, prison advisor Rick in the SWAT armor. Um, but hey, that'll do until perhaps a, a season two. And um, that'll be the last of the Warhammer, the Walking Dead battle reports uh, on the channel for a little bit. Um, just reviewing the, the views and all that stuff and, and the dollars that I've got. Um, let's see if we expand into season two. Should be probably around October, um, I do believe. Um, let me let me know what you want to see coming into season two. If you even want to see a season two, um, if you don't, well, too bad because I'm just going to film one anyway. Um, I think that's going to be set in, in the prison. The Made to Suffer expansion will be playing through, um, which will be a lot of fun. But. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed these battle reports. Lots of great models, lots of great miniatures, Mantic games. If you watch this, if this catches your attention, if you could send me over the Made to Suffer uh, kit so I can do another great epic narrative campaign like I've done with, uh, with the Days Gone By expansion, that would be greatly appreciated. I know you've got the uh, the pockets there, and I'm just a humble uh, a humble multi war gamer, humble guy from the small town of New Zealand. Uh, doesn't have a lot of dollars to his name, but he's got a lot of passion and, and love for uh, for miniature wargaming and uh, Walking Dead in particular. Great, great IP, great, uh, great theme and setting. So uh, help a brother out and uh, send that my way. But anyway, finally, thank you for watching. Tune in uh, next week will be uh, the start of um, four, four, uh, four, four weeks of Star Wars, Star Wars Legion. You've seen it out. It's all on uh, the YouTube at the moment. And uh, jumping on that bandwagon there for your phone, provide some quality content there in the Star Wars universe. We'll go to a galaxy far, far away. Is that a Star Wars song? Yeah, in a galaxy far, far away. Get, get excited, I'm just hopping you up for that there, guys. Uh, but Star Wars Battle Reports, uh, we're kicking off in the forest, the uh, very thinly forested indoor. Um, just a nice little warm up there for that. So, uh, so you know, I always keep fresh and exciting content on the channel. I know you guys appreciate it because I've now cracked 113 subs as of filming this. Um, who knows where I'll be when, when these videos are released. I uh, appreciate all the love and support. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Like all my other videos. Go comment some stuff. And uh, thanks for watching once again. I am the Moldy Wargamer Fano. Kakite. Anon.